Computer Hardware Servicing. Lesson 1. Use and Tools. Learning Outcome 1. Repair and Tools. Proper Tool Selection. A tool is a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Tools range from a traditional metal cutting part of a machine to an element of a computer program that activates and controls a particular function. Preparing for the task to be undertaken includes proper tool selection. scope of work to be accomplished. Second, plan for the scope taking into account the sequence of tasks. Number two, selecting the best tool for each task requires training in the proper use of the tools, field experience in their safe use, and following the manufacturer's guidance instructions for that specific tool. Next, when obtaining the tool, all the associated tooling and consumable parts as recommended by the manufacturer must be included. In addition, related consumable parts must also be selected and used according to their manufacturer's instructions. Safe use of tools. Once selected, use the tool for the purpose for which it was designed. Not all tools come with detailed instructions, but there are those that do spell out the safety do's and don'ts for your safety. If there are set up or use options, Operator judgment must always be based on what is the safest way to use the tool. Environmental safety and health program requires the following. All tools be kept in good condition with regular maintenance. Next. The right tool to be used for the job. Next, each tool be examined before use and damage or defective tools not to be used. Okay, next, tools be operated according to manufacturer's instructions. Next, the right protective equipment for the tool and activity be used. Okay, let's proceed to hardware tools. To complete hardware repairs, it is important to have a toolkit that should contain all of the necessary tools. As you gain experience, you will learn which tools to have available for different types of jobs. Hardware tools are grouped into these four categories. Number one, Electrostatic discharge tools. Number two, hand tools. Number three, cleaning tools. Number four, diagnostic tools. Electrostatic discharge or ESD tools. Static electricity is easily generated by friction on carpets, tile flooring, clothing, hair, fabric, etc. The friction of moving air alone will charge suspended particles and cause the build-up of static electrical charges on people and objects in the environment. Grounded anti-static work mats used with anti-static wrist straps provide the most basic means for the controlled discharge of electrostatic electricity. 
Examples of ESD tools are the following. Number one, anti-static rest strap. Okay, so this tool is used to prevent ESD damage to computer equipment. Okay, so next, anti-static mat. Anti-static mat is used to stand on or place hardware on to prevent static electricity from building up. Next, hand tools. A hand tool is a device for performing work on a material or a physical system using only hands. The hand tools can be manually used employing force or electrically powered using electrical current. Okay, so here are the examples of hand tools. Flathead screwdriver. This tool is used to loosen or tighten slatted screws. Next, Phillips head screwdriver. This tool is used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Next, Torx screwdriver. This tool is used to loosen or tighten screws that have star-like depression on the top, a feature that is mainly found on laptop. Next is hex driver. This tool is sometimes called a nut driver. It is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. Next is needle nose tire. This tool is used to hold small parts. Next, wire cutter. This tool is used to strip and cut wires. Okay, so next, tweezers. This tool is used to manipulate small parts. Next, part retriever. This tool is used to retrieve parts from location that are too small for your hand to fit. Last is flashlight. This tool is used to light up areas that you cannot see clearly. Okay, so let's proceed to cleaning tools. Having the appropriate cleaning tools is essential when maintaining or repairing computers. Using these tools ensures that computer components are not damaged during cleaning. Okay, so here are the examples of cleaning tools. First is lint-free cloth. This tool is used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. Next, compressed air. This tool is used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components. Okay, so next is cable ties. This tool is used to bundle cables neatly inside and outside of a computer. Okay, so last, parts organizer. Used to hold screws, jumpers, fasteners, and other small parts and prevent them from getting mixed together. Okay, so the last but not the least hardware tools is the diagnostic tools. Computers are easier to use and are more dependable with each new generation of hardware and operating system updates. But that doesn't mean that they are problem free. Okay, so here are the examples of diagnostic tools. Multimeter. Multimeter is used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of electricity in computer components. Next, loopback adapter. 
it is used to test the functionality of computer ports. Okay, thank you for listening. This is the end of my presentation.